Thank you for joining us at National Gallery Singapore for an afternoon with Modern Ink Master Liu Guo So. My name is Lina Luo, and I will be your EMC today. Um, this special program is organized in conjunction with our ongoing exhibition, Liu Guo So Experimentation as Method, Singapore's largest exhibition in a public museum dedicated to the authors. 最近的各位来宾们、先生们、女士们，大家下午好！感谢大家参与展览《刘国松实验舞蹈》的特别活动。我是拉英里，是今天活动的司仪。本次活动配合新加坡国家美术馆正在举行的展览《刘国松实验舞蹈》。展览是水墨大师刘国松在新加坡公共美术馆中最大型的展览。We are honored to have Master Liu grace the event, as well as Eugene Wong, Professor of Asian Art at Harvard University, who directed the film *To the Moon*. Which we have the privilege of screening today. Today, we are very happy to be able to invite Mr. Liu Guosong and Harvard University Asian Art Museum Director Wang Yuejing. Wang Yuejing is the director of the film *Wind Wind*. Thank him for his support for the screening of the film. Without further ado, let us invite the Singapore National Gallery Director Chen Weide to the stage. Without further ado, may I invite Dr. Eugene Tan, Director of National Gallery Singapore, on stage for his welcome remarks, please. Liu 老师，各位观众，对不起，我中文不够好，所以我会用英文来讲。<laughs> so good afternoon,、uh, our guest of honor, Master Liu Guosong, Miss Lin Li, CEO of the Liu Guosong Foundation, Professor Eugene Wang, Abby Aldrich Rockefeller Professor of Asian Art at Harvard University, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to National Gallery Singapore. Thank you for joining us this afternoon for a very special program for our exhibition. Liu Guosong experimentation as method. Master Liu Guosong, whom we have the pleasure of having with us today, has been absolutely pivotal in the, in the modernization of Chinese ink painting. Our exhibition, Liu Guosong experimentation as method, presents works by Master Liu that embody the dauntless experimental spirit and creative energy that have come to characterize his artistic practice, featuring more than sixty artworks and one hundred and fifty pieces. Of archival material, the exhibition celebrates Master Liu's seven decades-long artistic practice and how he explored new techniques and ways of expression in Chinese ink. Since the exhibition opened in January this year, we have received numerous positive comments on the exhibition, with visitors describing the experience of the show as eye-opening, captivating, unique, and motivated. Such feedback is a testament to the brilliance of Master Liu's art. Today we have the privilege to showcase another form that has been inspired by Master Liu's life and practice: the medium of film. To the Moon is an essay film directed by Professor Eugene Wang on the personal and artistic journey of Master Liu. Professor Wang heads the Cam Lab at Harvard University, which focuses on innovative and interdisciplinary ways of showcasing art and culture. The film's title references Liu's space series of artworks. These iconic pieces, inspired by the Apollo missions to the moon in, like, in the late 1960s, are also on display in our exhibition. Well, we hope that everyone will be similarly inspired by Liu's artworks and to the moon. Thank you, everyone, for coming, and have a wonderful afternoon ahead. Um, thank you, Dr. Eugene Tan. Thank you, Chen Wei De Professor. We would now like to invite Master Liu and Professor Wang to join us on stage to share their valuable insight on the exhibition Liu Guoso Experimentation as Method, its exhibition catalog, and the film To the Moon. Now, please let us invite Liu Guoso and Professor Wang to share their valuable insight on the exhibition Liu Guoso Experimentation as Method, its exhibition catalog, and the film To the Moon. Now, please let us invite Liu Guoso and Professor Wang to share their valuable insight on the exhibition Liu Guoso Experimentation as Method, its exhibition catalog, and the film To the Moon. Now, please let us invite Liu Guoso and Professor Wang to share their valuable insight on the exhibition Liu Guoso Experimentation as Method, its exhibition catalog, and the film To the Moon. Now, please let us invite Liu Guoso and Professor Wang to share their valuable insight on the exhibition Liu Guoso Experimentation as Method, its exhibition Exhibition curator Dr. Cai Han will be our moderator. Liu Guosong is Liu Guosong 老师是现代水墨画的先驱。汪卫静是哈佛大学洛克菲勒亚洲艺术史的专席教授。本次对话将由展览策展人蔡恒博士主持。三位请。Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Master Liu and Professor Wang, for coming to National Gallery Singapore again. And sharing with the local audiences about your creative work. 
。各位来宾，下午好，我们欢迎刘老师跟汪教授再次莅临新加坡国家美术馆。和我们分享你们的各自不同的创作工作啊。那首先呢，我有一个问题问刘老师，就是您也看了这个展览，这个展览是从一月份开始的嘛？那么您看了这个展览几次之后，看了呃您的作品，再一次回顾了这些文献，那你现在对你的这个艺术生涯有什么新的总结？或者呢，接下来你在创作上还有什么新的计划？ So first, I have a question for Master Liu. So after viewing the exhibition, which you put up in January this year, and Master Liu himself has visited a few times, so I would like to ask Master Liu: after viewing all the artworks and、uh, his archival materials, featuring his over six decade creative journey, not only in the、uh, art practice and also in the art writing as well as in art education. Um, does he gain any new um thoughts and reflection on his creative life, or、uh, he is planning some new projects in his next creative episode? 老师，就是这个问题，就是您对过去，您看了展览之后，对这个过去这些作品的回顾、文献，您的工作，您有什么新的总结吗？啊，或者你接下来有什么新的创作想法？呃，因为大家恐怕都想到，我现在已经超过九十岁，但是我现在又试验了一种心理技法。现在我每天画的非常的开心，说这个呃，这个瘟疫这个这这几年呢。来呀、啊，结果我们没有出去，但是我在家里画画。说是说说这个，现现在画的非常的开心，每天都画的非常开心。说说说，呃，一个画家，他不画画的时候，就感觉到有点好像有什么事情没有做，但是一画就画了。就什么事情都忘记了，然后画的呃非常开心。所以最近我我的这个心理实验，将来呃这个展出的时候，所以让你们一定觉得很奇怪，怎么一个这么老的一个老人，呃还在那还实验。所以说我我自己对于我自己提出的这个实验创作。说，我一直都在呃发展，发展呃，哎，对。我想，我也我也不用太，大家都基本上都能听懂。我大概总结一下，呃、uh, ，Master Liu share with us, he is still very productive. Uh, though he is already over six, uh, ninety years old, he is very happy, very enjoy his creative work every day. Uh, as an artist, he felt if He didn't do the daily practice, which is art making. He will feel something lost. So he said he feel very excited now. He would like to share with us. He is actually creating something new, and he very eager to bring to us very soon in the near future. The. 下面的问题我就交给汪教授了。呃、uh, ，Thank you, Professor Wang. For producing the film to the moon and uh, um, bring to this uh region to the Singapore audiences, so we are very privileged to enjoy the movie today this afternoon, and this is really a labor of love and passion. Uh, so um, representing the audience, we would like to know a little bit more about your initial inspiration and motivation, uh, for producing this film, and also. Uh, what is your most impressive experience during the, you know, the, the making of the film? Um, well, I first met、um, Mr. Liu when he was inducted into American Arts and Sciences, and so we had this conversation, and we met, and we felt like we were old friends. And、uh, he's not a 
just a great painter. He's also a great storyteller. Um, so in that conversation, it just triggered all kinds of scenes, almost cinematic. And his works themselves are inherently cinematic. Many people feel that they can hear voices in a painting. So you have the visual, you have the soundtrack, which is extraordinary um, thing to have. Uh, so I feel like the only way one can communicate that experience of his work is through some kind of cinematic staging so that you could feel the hidden soundtrack one hears from watching, looking at his painting, which is really remarkable. It's not just my own subjective sensation or feeling, but in fact, as a scholar, I went through a lot of critics' commentary and response, and quite a few of them with different background all report that they see in the painting the voices. So, in other words, just as I said, um, his work inherently is cinematic. And then if you think about um, the need for us all to have a sense of history, a sense of how individuals go through different places looking for a spiritual home, that's Liu Guoson. And um, he, his footprints just cover so much of you know China, Taiwan, you know, um, and then also the kind of quest, spiritual quest he went through was just, um, yeah, as a very few artists come close to that. So I feel it's really the material for cinematic epic of sorts. So working with him, and um, I guess one of the most extraordinary experiences actually for me in the filming process, um, I noted a painting he did in the 1950s when he was an art student. He went to Ali, Mount Ali in Taiwan and to do the sketching as art student were expected to do. But what caught my attention was that instead of sketching the cows, the landscape out there, he actually turned around, looked at a tunnel of a Japanese-built railroad. And I immediately got it, why he chose not to paint the landscape, but paint that tunnel, the railroad tunnel, because obviously all his life has been caught up with railroads, tunnels. He saw the... Um, refugees fleeing on the train tops, the train moving through tunnels, and a and lot of refugees on top of the train would be, would, you know, um, be thrown off once the train enters the tunnel. So all that experience, all that memory must have come back when he was doing sketching. Therefore, he painted that railroad tunnel. So I took a team to Taiwan, and I decided to track down that tunnel. And we set off in a noon in Mount Ali, and it was in the evening, close to evening time, we finally located that tunnel. And it was, we had to get back before darkness set in. Because, you know, going back uh, is very hard. Um, and, but regardless, we, we, we were so glad we found the tunnel. And then when we uh, went back, um, it was really dark. So through darkness, we kind of grouped our way, um, um, climbing cliffs and, and, and so forth. So I sent a photo of us climbing cliffs to uh, Mr. Liu's daughter, Ling Hui, I say. Uh, and she's looked at the photo, she said, who are these crazy people uh, climbing the cliff, uh, cliff? And I said, that was me. 
So I do a summary and the professor please just add in if I miss some part. 呃，所以汪汪教授呢，刚才说他最早呢是在美国的时候就已经跟刘老师见了面了。那么当时就跟刘老师见面，就觉得像老朋友一样，就谈得非常呃，就尽兴。然后刘老师呃，他自己讲讲述就是一个非常好的那个说故事者。那么然后通过跟刘老师的对话，然后对罗老师作品的了解。那么汪教授觉得刘老师作品里面包含的不仅是影像，还有声音，呃，音乐等等各方面。他觉得再加上刘老师他经历过的这个历史，这个很宏阔的这个年代，那汪教授觉得刘老师是最好的一个可以选择的一个研究的画家，呃，也是最适合用电影语言的。那么接下来汪老师其实回答了第二个问题，就是您比较。特别有印象的一件事情啊，那就是呃，汪汪教授就注意到了刘老师早年的，就是去跟着他全班去阿里山写生，对吧？那么别的人都是画风景啊，画人物，呃，刘老师画了那个呃，就是火车的隧道。那么汪教授就突然间一下子就领悟到，哎，为什么刘老师会去画那个？因为这个跟刘老师的这个经历是非常有关系，因为他。从小颠颠沛流离的生活，就是铁路啊、逃亡啊、隧道，所以呃，汪教授就把这个影像跟刘老师这个艺术创作连接了起来。那么然后呢，汪教授就深受启发，就带着他的团队去了台湾阿里山，就亲自去寻找了那个隧道，应该是这样对吧？然后找到了之后，拍了图片给。呃，刘老师的女儿令辉，然后刘老师女儿令辉觉得哇，这个谁这么疯狂，就去拍了这个啊，然后就是汪汪汪教授自己就去去寻找，就解读这个艺术家这个创作的本源从哪里来的这一条路，就是刚才汪教授跟我们呃分享的。呃、uh, ，so following up your first question, and I have a second one which is related to the first question. So in the film, you used extensive footages of the um, uh, historical events, uh, voice cover uh, by artist himself, the voice cover narration by artist self, and also his daughter, and also the different kind of images. Of course, including the artist's own work as well, and also a lot of landscape scenes. And uh, so, uh, would you like to share with us? Your creative decisions, which you have made for shape this film,、um, the question is particularly related to: Do you find any similarities or differences related to our normal art historical methods and narration? Yeah,、uh, the most challenge I faced was in what kind of cinematic genre I want to present this.、Uh, of course, the more conventional ways to. Produce a documentary film where you know I sit down with、uh, Mr. Liu and have an intervie and and then intermix that with、um, some paintings and footage and I didn't feel that work very well for me, so I want to try a different genre, more like an essay film, and using their voice.、Uh, essentially, the film would be told and narrated in two voices. One is Mr. Liu himself. Another is、um, his daughter Lin Hui. So these two narrating,、uh, these two narrators and these two perspectives are very interesting. One is, of course, from the painter's first-person narrative. Another is from someone who largely grew up in the U.S. and try to understand the life of her father. Uh, from her point of view, so I think Lin Hui's point of view is very interesting because, in some ways, it represents some kind of international audience point of view because、uh, she would look outside. In, even though, of course, she had her personal memory of growing up in the family, I suppose. But on the other hand,、uh, she largely spent her adult life abroad in the U.S. And for her to Trace back her father's footsteps and trying to understand her 
father in a way that um, that um, she probably initially didn't think of. So this is actually quite an interesting process because there are times she when when I you know when I interview her, there are certain questions I threw at her. She said, "I." It's so interesting. I never thought of this. So she sometimes, the same night, she will call up her father and ask the same question that I raised her. And um, and also one of the interesting moment uh, I remember is that we had one test run of the film at Harvard, and Ning Hui flew over to look our um, early version. And she was quite shaken by one sequence, that is the crossing of the channel, because uh, Liu Guosong and his high school classmates crossed the channel to from mainland to Taiwan. So we staged that in a quite cinematic way. And Lin Hui told me, and I still uh, found that interesting. So she said, actually, that had nothing to do with me, but somehow I'm so moved. And um, she said, in Chinese, she said, that was a sort of, it was really hard. So finally she realized that, you know, there are certain hardships her father went through that she probably had taken for granted but seeing certain cinematic staging of some of these historic experiences, she came to that. So I thought that was also very rewarding for me as a, a filmmaker that uh, the audience and the family member had that. Another very rewarding experience that we had this um, test run of the film in Taipei in 2019. And after seeing the film, uh, Liu Guosong almost came to tears. So I feel very gratified that I could manage to do that. Thank you. 不同的历史的事件的片段所以他决定用散文式的电影的方式来做一个特别的这个艺术家的专案的研究长大的接受教育就是民众就是撤离大陆去台湾穿越海峡这段历史那汪教授就觉得这个就是这个电影的语言的力量和他觉得他做这个电影觉得非常开心就非常觉得说值得的这个部分 So we have the last question We keep the time more for the film So the last question is uh, 
uh, what do you hope for the local audience to take away from this film? Well, this film largely, uh, if we word it down to one essential message, it is about an individual and the whole generation who experience displacement, trying situations, trying to find a spiritual home. So it is really that try to find a spiritual home when you are out there in the world, often displaced, often in kind situations, then where do you find a spiritual home? Uh, uh, Wang教授说 呃，感受或者去思考的。那么，呃，我就加一句题外话，就是这个问题其实对于很多新加坡的，就是说移民第一代或者第二代等等，或者这个其实也是全球的体验。就是this is like I believe it will be the common experience for many, uh, many people, uh, today sitting here uh, about immigration, about transition, about relocation, etc. Um, I'm sure we will all, you know, bring uh get some more connected to some part of the field. Uh, thank you so much, Professor Wang. Thank you. Enjoy the film. Oh, uh, uh, before the film, we have an announcement. And, uh, okay, so um, we would like to announce our catalog, which is very heavy. Uh, <laughs> it's coming up uh, this month. And uh, for the audience today, if you're willing to purchase the catalog, uh, you will enjoy a 25% discount. The price is 75, so you have 25% discount. And you will be also quite lucky to have the artist's uh, signature. Uh, if you quickly to line up after the film. Um, and this is a full mock-up, so it, it's almost exactly look as the real copy. So. Uh, feel free to, you know, look through later in the outside the reception. So today we have this, uh, announce this catalog. The catalog 而且是双语的那么包括访谈包括专文而且还有很多没看过展览的还里面还有关于这个展览的一些图片的记录那么大家等一下呢可以去外面排队购买因为今天呢就会有二十五发现的折扣然后还有大很大的机会可以得到艺